finally, finally got my flywheel. A day late and way too many dollars extra to, to get this here a day late, but it's here. And actually, I finally get to show you guys the difference here between all three flywheels that I have. So what you're looking at here, and you'll see there's a nice shiny one to a nasty rusty one. This is the one we just got. This is your GST flywheel. This is the one that was in the car. This is the GSX flywheel. This is the one original to the car. This is your GS flywheel. So you've got turbo, turbo all-wheel drive, and non-turbo. And the craziest thing is, is that the all-wheel drive and the and the non-turbo, they're the same size. The, the, the flywheels are different as far as how everything's mounted up, the clutch-wise and all that, but they're the same size. So I think technically you could put the all-wheel drive flywheel in the non-turbo with the non-turbo transmission and, and use a, a GSX clutch for it. But it's just it's it's absolutely mind-boggling. Just looking at them side by side, you can see that there's that one is just slightly bigger, like just slightly. So if I lay this up here, you can see this is a, I think in total it's a half inch, maybe a quarter, and it is just insanely close. <sighs> But yeah, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned because we'll be putting that in, and then this will be running.